Hello, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to use Audacity so that you can play a backing track from Audacity whilst you are recording a lead guitar against that backing track. The backing track I'm going to use is Light in the Window, which is a rather nice little tune. I've just dragged and dropped it into Audacity to let you know what it sounds like. Click play. Okay, so it has no lead guitar going on. We want to create one. Now we want to record, but to make sure that when we record this particular track plays back with it, we need to make sure we have the settings in edit preferences and under recording we need to make sure that overdub has been checked. That makes sure that this will play back at the same time. So let's re record a few bars. should now be able to play that back and by default if you just click play <coughs> Audacity will play all the tracks that you've recorded and you can record many many more tracks it's not just limited to two so let's play back what we've just recorded So you can see that hasn't done a bad job. Um, <clears throat> you have to be aware of a thing called latency, which is uh, the time it takes for your uh, guitar to actually get through the computer works to the speaker, and there is a setting to adjust that. So if you find that your lead is slightly out of time with your, uh, your backing, go into Preferences again, and you can change this latency figure here to move the track about. If you find that your track is before or after um, the backing track, uh, you can add space to the front of the one that is uh, coming on in too soon and purely add a silence. And here you will set um, a very small amount, like maybe about 100 milliseconds, not, certainly not two minutes. This is shown the whole thing. Um, so you just add that at the start of it. Okay, now I had a tiny bit of uh, latency issue uh, with that recording, so I've modified it slightly to make it more noticeable. So let's imagine that the latency uh, figure that you've had in your uh, um, preferences is incorrect. It still leaves you with an error, and it may sound like this. hear that the lead guitar is following a little bit behind. So the way to cure this is by pushing the backing track backwards uh, by the same amount that we're actually out. Um, and you can do this by clicking onto the backing track and push the cursor to the start of that particular backing track and then we want to insert or generate the silence which will be inserted before the tune starts. Now <clears throat> I happen to know that the, the latency or the delay that I in included there was 100 milliseconds. Um, so if I put 100 milliseconds in that will come back about right. Um, in fact if I do it to about 105 I think it might come back perfectly because it was slightly out anyway. Let me try this. Now if I force it back to the start again you can see that tiny little white line down there you might be able to see that's the 
inserted space of the silence that I put in. If we now play it back again, let's see what it sounds like. Now you can see that's much better. Um, may not be perfect, but it's quite difficult to tell because of the amount of uh, echo that I've got going on there. But uh, that's the way to do it. Obviously you can adjust that, uh, that delay if it's incorrect. I can undo the silence so it goes back to where it was and I can try a different figure instead of 105 milliseconds to try and sort out the, uh, the issue. So there you go. Um, you can also save um, all of it or part of it. So I can play this, the, uh, the lead on its own just by clicking solo and you'll hear my guitar without the backing track. There you go. Um, and I can also save just that track by highlighting it by clicking in this area here and then go to export selection. The highlighting is selecting it eff effectively and so by to export selection it will only select that track so I could change that name for example to something or other lead I'm not going to save it because I don't want to but uh, uh, that's what I would do or if I want to save the whole lot then I don't export the selection I export everything which is by using that one and that um, export everything everything that you've recorded. Um, so there you go, that's a little bit about it. Hopefully you find that helpful. Um, see you soon.